If you are trying to serve full coverage realness, but also still have a face that is lightweight and that is gonna hold up for you for many, many, many hours, this is the look and these are the products that I would recommend. Hey girl, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Faye. And for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my long wear, sweat proof, transfer proof, oily skin approved, all of the things, mega routine for spring and summer. There have been a lot of new complexion launches recently and I have done a lot of reviews for you guys. So I figured today I would show you the kind of combination or the routine of products that I have been using that have really been helping my face stand the test of time in this Atlanta heat. So whether it's a full work day, a date night, or a day out with the girls, whatever the case may be, these are the products that I reach for when I know I need something that I can count on to last on my face throughout the day. And I'm talking like five, six, seven, eight plus hours. The products that I'm gonna be showing you in this video are the ones that I reach for every single time because I know they are gonna hold me down and they are not going to disappoint. Everything that I mentioned in today's video, I will have listed and linked for you down below. So if you see anything that you're interested in, be sure to check out the description box. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and if you would like to see me go from this to this, then let's go ahead and get into the video. So I went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit because we are going to be focusing pretty much solely on complexion today. If you know, you know, complexion for me always starts with primer. I know that there are a lot of, you know, contrasting opinions about primers, whether they work or not. But as far as I'm concerned, for me and my house, with this oily skin, we're gonna prime every single time. I have tried tons and tons of primers, so I'm actually gonna do a completely separate video sharing with you guys like my top 10 primers or something to that effect of things that I know that work. But for today's video, I'm gonna be just showing you the products that I have been reaching for as of the past couple of weeks. So first things first, I'm gonna be going in with this product from Danessa Myricks. This is her Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. This is a new product from her that I have been testing out and using like for the past couple of weeks. And girl, listen, if you have normal combo oily skin, this right here, game changer. So the way that this works is it has a little dropper and it even has a little um, like label on the bottom that says to tap here to dispense the product. So I just turn it upside down and I do like a drop on each of my cheeks and on my forehead. Honestly, that is literally all you need. So you already know this right here is gonna last for a really, really long time. And then I'm really gonna focus this on the areas that I get the most oily. So that's gonna be on my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and on my cheek area where my pores are the largest. And I'm just kind of pressing that into the skin. So the order of the next two primers kind of depends on whether or not I'm using the translucent or the tinted version of the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm, I believe is what this is called. Yeah, the Blurring Balm Powder. So if I'm just gonna use the translucent, then I would go in with this next, but I'm gonna be using the tinted version today. So for some additional smoothing on the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish. And I'm really just gonna focus this on the areas that need additional smoothing. So that's gonna be on my cheek area, a little on my forehead, and then also underneath my eyes to smooth out any fine lines. So next up, like I said, I'm gonna go in with the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I have mine in the shade number seven. And then I also have the translucent shade, like I mentioned. The translucent is perfect for if you want something that's gonna mattify the skin, but maybe you're just gonna do a little bit of spot concealing, or you don't wanna add additional coverage or like mix in a tinted version with whatever complexion product you're gonna use. But for me, this right here, I absolutely love mixing in with my foundations or whatever my complexion product is gonna be as you can see it is very much loved and I have already purchased a backup so I'm gonna go in with a little spatula and just scoop out some of this off of the kind of corners and apply it to the skin so I just do like a little bit on each cheek some on my chin some on my forehead and then with whatever's left on the spatula I kind of just put it wherever on my face because I'm not gonna put it back in here just to keep it sanitary. And then for foundation today, I'm actually gonna go in with this one from KVD Beauty. This is the Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. It looks like this. 
I have mine in the shade Tan 74. I actually have a ton of foundations that I could recommend to you. So let me know down below in the comments if that is another video you guys would like for me to film. It would basically be like my top foundations and like skin tints and things that I recommend if you have oily skin. So yeah, let me know down below if that's something that you would wanna see because this video would be super long if I tried to let you know every single foundation that I think would be good for this routine. Um, this is one that I have been loving since last year and I didn't really mention it that much to you guys. So I figured this would be a great um, video for you guys to kind of see it in action. So I just pumped it on this concealer brush and applied it to the skin. I did two pumps and you can see I still have a good bit left on my concealer brush. So I'm just gonna let that hang out on there in case I need additional coverage in another area of the face. And then before I start blending, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I recently took this back out when I reviewed the new Face Bound face bond foundation and I have fallen back in love with this this if you're an OG like back to 2013 when I first started posting videos you know I used to ride so hard for this and it still is just as amazing as it was back then so I'm gonna spray my face and then go ahead and blend out the foundation the key with this routine in my opinion or with any routine that you want to be long-lasting is to apply things in layers so you don't want any one layer to be too heavy. And also, as you're applying additional layers, you kinda wanna set in between with um, whatever setting spray you have. Like I said, I recommend this one. Um, later on in my routine, I'm gonna show you some of my other ones that I recommend that I actually like finish my face with or like, you know, my final setting sprays. But as you guys have seen so far, we did the primers and then we went in with um, kind of like a dual product of a primer and um, like a, it's not really a foundation, but something that is tinted that will give a little bit of coverage. Everything is really just about adding layers, setting in between, and not overdoing it on any one product. Okay, so foundation is on. As you can see, it gave me, I would say between like a medium to full coverage, but there are still a couple of areas on my face where my dark spots are peeking through. So instead of adding additional coverage with the foundation, I'm gonna go in with a concealer so I can still give myself a little bit more coverage without adding on more foundation. So for my concealer today, I'm using this one from Too Faced. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite concealers, hands down. I've been using this for years. This is the multi-use sculpting concealer. I have this in tons of shades, but for my skin tone shade, I'm gonna be using the shade Mocha. And I'm just gonna apply that just on like a couple little spots. I have a little breakout right there. A couple little dark spots that I just wanna add a little bit of extra coverage. And I'm actually gonna let that just hang out on the face and dry down a little bit. Also really quickly, since this is my first time sharing this foundation on my channel, I believe, I wanted to just quickly mention if you've never heard of this or tried it, that the reason why I absolutely love this for a routine like this is because not only is it long wearing, but it also has ingredients in it that is going to help control oil throughout the day. And it's also sweat and humidity proof. But along with that, because it's a serum foundation, it's also going to give your skin that natural finish and give you a little bit of hydration throughout the day because even though I do have oily skin I always want to make sure that I'm having a balance between matte and hydration because if my skin is too matte then that's going to make my face want to produce more oil to hydrate the skin so you want to make sure that you're having a little bit of a balance so you'll see throughout this routine that I'll have some products that are like really for mattifying, some products that are a little bit more hydrating, but all in all, it will kind of balance out for a long wearing look throughout the day. So this has been sitting on my face for a little bit, so I'm just gonna go in with the same brush I use for my foundation and lightly tap over this. I don't wanna remove the coverage, but I do want to blend it into the rest of the complexion. So I'm just lightly tapping over to blend that in. 
Okay, so sticking with that same layering technique that I mentioned, we're gonna go ahead and work on the under eyes. As you can see, I do have some darkness underneath my eyes. So we're gonna cancel that out with a mixture of an orange tinted product along with a concealer that leans a little bit more on the warm side. So for that, the first product I'm gonna be using is this Hue Stick from Live Tinted. This one is in the shade Balance. I haven't actually shared this with you guys on my channel in a while, but the OGs, remember I used to use this all the time. So I'm just going to apply this underneath the eye and I'm really just focusing this not like right up underneath my eye but just on the area where you can see like right in here where that darkness is kind of um, more prominent. And then after that, I'm gonna go in with another shade of my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This one is in the shade Butterscotch and we're just gonna apply that right on top. And you can see how that kind of has a little bit of a warmer undertone to it. I'm not gonna apply a lot because we are also gonna be brightening under the eye, so we don't want it to get too cakey up under there, but just enough so that we can color correct before we go in with a brightening concealer. So you can see how much better that looks compared to how it looked before so much more flawless underneath the eye. And then I do like to do this part with a brush. You can use a sponge if you want, but I prefer a brush for this step because it just allows me to be really precise because I'm only color correcting a very specific area. And so I feel like sometimes with the sponge, it can be a little bit more difficult to keep the product exactly where you want it. So a little small brush like this just makes it easier to control where you're blending and where you're putting the product. Okay, so now that our under eyes are color corrected, we're gonna do a little bit of highlighting. For that, I'm gonna be using another shade of the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. This one is in the shade Sand. And I know this may seem like a lot of products. If you don't need to color correct, if you don't have darkness under your eyes, if you don't have areas on your face that you wanna add additional coverage, some of these steps you can skip. But for me, if I'm gonna put a full face of makeup on, I like for it to look as even as possible. And so these are the steps that are necessary for me to achieve that but if there's anything that you feel like you don't need in your routine you can skip it so let's go ahead and apply this concealer I'm gonna apply it underneath my eyes and down the center of my face per usual and blend it out Okay, so concealer is blended. At this point, if you have any additional cream products like cream bronzer, cream blush, or anything like that, you would wanna go ahead and apply it to the face. To keep this beginner friendly, I think I'm going to skip that. Or should I show you guys in case you're interested? I guess I'll show you. Like I mentioned before, if you are a beginner or if you don't use cream products, then you can skip this step. But for my girlies who maybe are interested or wanna see how it's done or how I do it, I will just show you just for the sake of showing you guys what I do and what I use. So for cream bronzer, I'm gonna be going in with my LYS cream bronzer stick. Absolutely love this, hands down, my absolute favorite cream bronzer. I have mine in the shade Courage. And I like to use this uh, little brush to apply it to the face and also to blend it out. I just find that this is a really easy way for me to get it on the face and blend it out all in one step. So I just am gonna go in and swipe the product onto the brush like so. And then I like to place it on the face first. And don't worry, I know that looks like a lot, but this, I'm telling you, it blends like a dream. So I'm just going to apply it on the face everywhere that I want it to be first, like so. And then now that I pretty much have all of it off of the brush, I'm just gonna run whatever is left down my nose because I don't want that to be too pronounced. And then I'm also gonna bring, ooh, bring it up into my brow as well. Really simple, this brush makes it really, really easy. And then I'm just gonna go in with the same brush and blend it out. And just another quick tip, whenever you're blending uh, cream products on the cheek, you always wanna blend upward because if you start bringing it down, it's gonna look a little bit muddy and it's gonna take away from the natural contour that your face has just based on how the light naturally hits your face. 
So whenever you're blending, wherever you place that line, I normally do mine like kind of from the top of my ear. That was kind of where I stamped it. And then I'm blending it upwards and around in kind of like a C shape. Or I guess it's kind of like a three shape because I'm also bringing it down here as well. Not as much on my jawline because I'm not super concerned about chiseling out my jawline, um, but making sure here that you're blending that up. And then also later when we apply the cream blush, um, it'll just blend into what we've already placed down. And I have kind of a large forehead, so I like to create a little bit more shadow on my forehead by bringing my bronzer down a little bit and just leaving this center area um, brightened where I place my concealer. Because anywhere that you place concealer, those are areas that you're gonna be bringing your face forward. And I don't need my forehead coming forward any more than it already does. Um, and then of course, anywhere that you place bronzer, contour, anything like that, you're creating shadows. So just wanna be kind of aware of how it is that you're trying to shape your face. And then of course, placing your products accordingly. Okay, bronzer is on, looking good. So now let's go ahead and go in with a cream blush. I'm gonna be using this one from Danessa Myricks. This is another one from her Yummy Skin line. These are the, what are these called? I think these are called the Blurring Blush Powders, but again, everything that I use, I'll have for you guys down below. This one is in the shade Bellini. I went ahead and picked this one because I feel like it's giving the spring and summer vibes, and I haven't used it a ton. And then I'm also gonna pick it up on this fluffy brush from LYS. How gorgeous is this brush? Absolutely stunning. I'm not sure if these are still available. I know the brushes are still available, but I'm not sure if this style is still available. Either way, I will, again, try to link everything for you guys down below. So I'm just gonna dip into the blush and then I'm going to kind of disperse it on the brush on the back of my hand just to make sure it's gonna go on evenly on the skin. And then we're just gonna go ahead and apply it right on the cheek area and blend it back into that bronzer. So that's what the blush is giving. And don't worry if it's looking like a little too much cause we can go in and blend it out. So we're just gonna do the other side. And I love these uh, products from Danessa Myricks because they already have ingredients in them that are useful for controlling oil and stuff like that throughout the day. All of the like blurring, balmy products from her line, they are like balm or cream to powder finish which if you have oily skin, again, is exactly what I need because that is going to just help with longevity and controlling oil throughout the day. Okay, blush is on. I really need to use these more often. I always forget about them because they're like tucked away in my blush drawer, but I might need to bring them like more to the forefront because they are just absolutely stunning. So this is the skin. We haven't done any setting or anything with powder, obviously, and the skin is looking very much flawless. And that is what you want because however your skin looks before you set it, is what it's gonna be giving after you put powder on top. So you definitely want your skin to be looking very smooth, flawless, you know, all the things before you go in and set it. So if you know, you know, to set my face today, I'm going in with my one size powder. If you are an oily skin girl, one size literally can do you no wrong. Lately, they have been starting to add like different, um, like other products besides mattifying products to their line, like, you know, items that are hydrating and different stuff like that. But a lot of their original launches were for the oily skin girlies because the founder, Patrick Starr, is also an oily skin girly. So I have yet to try a product from this brand that I have not liked. And to apply this to the face, I'm gonna be using my little triangle puff that I got off of Amazon. So first we're gonna go in with a light layer just to set all of the areas that we apply concealer. And then after that, we'll add a little bit of extra powder anywhere that needs a little extra oil control. Okay, so face is set, got a little bit of baking going on in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows really quick off camera and then I'll come back to finish up the rest of the face. Okay, so brows are on. Next I'm gonna go in and just dust and kind of press in the extra powder that I placed underneath the eyes to set the concealer. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm gonna be using my one size Turn Up The Base Powder Foundation. 
This one is in the shade medium dark six. And I'm really just gonna apply this on like the lower half of my face, which is um, the area that I didn't set with the loose powder. So next up is powder bronzer. And today I'm gonna be using this one from Benefit. This is their Hoola bronzer in the shade Caramel. I actually haven't used this in a while and then I pulled it out and used it the other day when I went into work and I forgot how nice this bronzer looks on my complexion. They do have three shades. Um, this one, the original, and then I can't remember. Let me see. Okay, Toasted. So this is the deeper shade. And then of course the original bronzer shade. And I think they have one shade lighter than the original. I'm not sure what that one is called. I don't have it. Um, but it's a, like a lighter bronzer shade for like fair complexions. But this bronzer is perfect, especially since we've already applied a cream bronzer. We really don't need a ton of pigment. We just need something that's gonna bring it back to life a little bit after all the other powders that we just applied underneath. Um, and also just kind of set it a little bit more. And adding the cream plus the powder on top, again, is going to give us a little bit more longevity with how long it wears on the skin throughout the day. And then also, just to keep it simple, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy um, eyeshadow brush and just pop it right into the crease of my eye, connecting it to that nose contour, blending it into the brow, and just kind of tying all of that together. All right, so next up is powder blush. I'm just gonna go into this uh, MAC palette of matte blushes that I have, and I think I'm going to use this one right here on the corner. I don't remember what the name of this one is, but I will, look into it because I have to pop it out to see what the name is but I'll leave it listed for you guys down below and we're just going to apply that right on top of the cream blush and then last but not least for the cheeks for highlighter I'm going in with this one from Fenty Beauty I have been obsessed with this since I picked it up during the um the spring savings event this one is in the shade yum rum these, I've already said it multiple times, these are stunning and I found that they give me like the perfect amount of glow without making me look oily and they wear really nicely on my skin throughout the day. I've been wearing this for weeks at this point and I am still absolutely in love with these. So we're just gonna pop a little bit of this on the cheek. I mean, you guys can see the glow eats. And you literally only need the smallest amount. Like I barely tap my brush in there. And it just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. All right, so before we do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer of setting spray. So at this point, we have sprayed our face. I believe this will be the third time. So we did it once with the foundation where we were blending out the foundation. So it mixed in with our foundation. Again, before I blended out the concealer. So again, it mixes in with the concealer. And now once we have all of the powders on the face, we're gonna spray one more time. Okay, so the setting spray is still drying, but get into the skin. You guys can see how absolutely flawless my under eye, my skin in general. I have very large pores, but everything is just looking so nice and smooth and flawless, which is why I absolutely love this routine, absolutely love these products. And as it wears throughout the day, even if I do start to get a little bit oily, I'll be able to just blot gently with the tissue, maybe touch up a little bit with powder if I need to, but my face is gonna be sitting. Like it's not gonna be creasing, it's not gonna be going anywhere like it's gonna be sitting just like this. At the most, I'll just have a healthy glow as I wear it throughout the day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a quick lash and then I'll come back to finish up with the lip. Okay girl, so lashes are on and I actually used these wispy clusters from Kiss. I know you guys have probably been seeing a lot of people trying out the like do it yourself um, lash extensions look at home and I've actually been really into these this is my second time applying them um, to my eyes the first time that I use them I just use like the self-adhesive that comes on the lash 
This time I used the Falscara. I had to um, purchase this separately. So I had to kind of hunt it down, but I found this one at Walmart. So it basically has like a bond and seal that you apply to your natural lashes with the clusters to help them like last a little bit longer. So I'm really into these. The first time that I wore these, I got a lot of compliments. So yeah, we'll see how long this phase lasts, but they're actually really easy to apply. And I just think like they're giving just enough, but not too much, if that makes sense. And then for my lower lashes, I use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black, Giga Black Lash. Do you guys remember this? There's a time when everybody was obsessed with this. So um, yeah, I just saw it with my other mascaras and I was like, oh, let me pull that out and try it out. So let's go ahead and finish up the face, girl, because this video, I have a feeling is gonna be super, super long and we just need to go ahead and get her done. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I'm gonna be using the One Size Lip Liner and the Makeup Forever Lip Liner. I have One Size in the shade Lip Snatcher. No, in the shade Rent Do. And then I have the Makeup Forever one in the shade Limitless Brown. So we're gonna go ahead and line the lips and then I'm gonna to top that off with this lipstick from MAC in the shade Spirit. All right, y'all, so the face is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my final spray to like just set and lock everything in. Since we're already using the Urban Decay All Nighter, I'm just going to stick with that one. So we're gonna spray the face first with this. Okay, and then now that that is pretty much dried down, I'm gonna go in with my one size mattifying setting spray. This right here is going to lock everything down. Nothing is gonna be moving on your face all day long. I always end my makeup routine, regardless of how much makeup I have on my face with this setting spray, because this right here, Listen, if you're looking for something that is going to have you locked and loaded all day long, especially in the summer heat, this is the setting spray that you need. And as you can see, I'm not stingy with it, okay? We spray a lot of this around here because I'm trying to make sure my face is not gonna be going anywhere for at least eight hours. All right, y'all, so this is the finished face. This is my foolproof, transfer proof, sweat proof, oil controlling, all of the above makeup routine. This ended up being more of my full coverage routine. So if you would like to see my more like quick 15 to 30 minute light coverage skin tint, trying to get out the door but still wanna look put together kind of look, give this video a thumbs up or comment down below and let me know and I'll definitely film that for you guys. But if you are trying to serve full coverage realness but also still have a face that is lightweight and that is gonna hold up for you for many, many, many hours, this is the look and these are the products that I would recommend. This is a face, like I mentioned, that I have worn to work, I have worn for nights out, I have worn for outdoor festivals, I wore for like Cinco de Mayo, for example, where I was literally out for over 12 hours, out in the heat and then also continued into the evening. So this is a face that I have tested many, 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 many times and so I feel completely confident in recommending these products in this process to you guys. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below if there are any other oily skin related, summer related, or just videos in general that you guys would like to see. And yeah, if you made it all the way to the end, you are the real MVP. Thanks for sticking it out and hanging out with me all the way to the end of this video. And I will see you very soon in my next one.